you know, obviously recovering from an overdose and addiction was it's hands down my biggest failure. And it's the thing that I am most grateful for. Um, but yeah, I mean, I fail all the time. In fact, if I'm not failing, then I'm not living, right. I'm not pushing myself hard enough. Uh, and so, you know, when you bounce back from what I bounce back from, um, and start to rebuild your life and you see that you can recreate something that's different. It makes you not so scared of failing. Yeah. And so I put myself out there all the time and, um, and I've, I've made mistakes. I've made mistakes in business. Like I move really fast. So I've made fast decisions and then live to regret it. <laughs> um, going like, Oh, well, uh, if I would have planned that a little bit better, it might have gone smoother. I've made mistakes in relationships. I mean, my husband and I almost got divorced a couple of years ago um, because I failed to be really, truly honest about what I wanted and how I was changing. And it's so scary to, you know, have those kinds of personal conversations. So you just put your head down and you keep going and you don't address the issues. And then, you know, it almost led to my marriage collapsing And, you know, that feels like a huge failure, especially when you have a young son, you're like, how how did I let it get to this? Mm -hmm. Thankfully, you know, we were able to pull through it, but you know, there's just, there's every day, there's something that you can do better. Um, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, no, that's good. And, and your story of your husband and the honesty, it's, it's interesting because my wife, Kendra and I, um, we've worked through a lot too, but we recently kind of had the same thing where, and I don't know, and I'd love your input on this too. I feel like it came from my world in sports and in sports, we're always taught that emotions were bad. You just put on your best face. You just keep the emotions suppressed for the good of the game, the good of the team. And when you take that into marriage, it doesn't really work. Like when you're not open and completely honest, uh, there is, there's like this missing element. So I know we struggle with that too, and I'm still not perfect at it. It's still something where my initial gut reaction is like, eh, I don't need to say anything about that. But in reality, I just need to be honest. So do you think that sports had any, um, input on that bringing that into marriage or where did that, um, that honesty, was it just a, a fear? Where did that come from? Yeah. I don't think it came from sports um, because I've never had a problem like expressing myself, but I do think with marriage, it comes, uh, it, it, it's just different. Yeah. Uh, and, and, um, you know, it's the person you are closest to, you make this significant commitment. And if you say something that might really hurt that person, the consequences can be very big and we build them up even more in our heads and we tend not to take feedback from well, from those closest to us. So, uh, it was just really uncomfortable. I was always worried how, um, how he would react. And, and then I also felt inadequate in my inability to communicate clearly with him because I can communicate. And so I just had this like whole mixture. And then I didn't want a failed marriage like my parents. Right. And so I have like past trauma that also was, was, was baggage that I was carrying into it. What I learned and every relationship is different and my husband is amazing, but what I learned when I was truly just radically honest about what I wanted and not in a way that was angry, just in a way of like, I just need to tell you this. And I am so scared to say it because I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but if I don't say it, this is not going to turn out well. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, and he listened and he, and, awesome. uh, he sat down and he listened and he started sharing really deep things with me, personal things, right. That, that you feel embarrassed to like share with people. And the next thing you know, it just, it like cracked open our marriage in such a positive way. It let so much light in because now we can, can communicate like, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what I need right now. This is something that's changing about me right now, but we had to get through to have that radical, radical honesty. Yeah. And we were both at the right time in our marriage to be able to hear each other and have that conversation. Um, not every marriage is at that point. Not everybody can have those types of conversations, but it's what saved mine was radical, radical honesty. 